What does Jesus mean when he says he has the keys of hell and of death? You can understand the keys of hell and death and revelation in this five minute video Bible study. Last time we saw a word picture of Jesus from Revelation, and today we investigate the meaning of the keys of hell and of death. But first, let's notice what happens to John as he sees Jesus in vision. Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 says, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and last. John says he fell to the ground as dead, this is not uncommon in the Bible when a prophet is in vision, as Paul, Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Daniel also fell to the ground, either in utter humility, respect, or total loss of power. Here, John is comforted immediately as Jesus speaks the comforting words, Fear not, I am the first and last. The phrase first and last is a direct quote from Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. As Isaiah records the words from God, Isaiah uses the name Lord, which means Jehovah. So here in Revelation, we see that Jesus himself refers to himself as Jehovah by quoting Isaiah and places himself as God. In other words, this is another reference to the Godhead of which Jesus is the second person of, otherwise known as the Trinity. Then in Revelation 1.18, Jesus continues to comfort John and give evidence of his authority, saying, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Obviously, this is a reference to the cross where Christ bore our sins, and this is a clear indication that the one speaking is Christ. But what does it mean to have the keys of hell and of death? Keys are a symbol of power and jurisdiction, and Jesus has power and authority over the grave. The word hell here is translated from the Greek word Hades, which means a place of the departed or the grave. When studying the word hell, we must be careful as it is translated from different words in the Bible. In the Old Testament, hell is seen 31 times translated from the word sheol, which means the grave. In the New Testament, it is translated 12 times from the word Gehenna, meaning a place of burning. Gehenna is a Greek word which is a transliteration of the Hebrew word Gehinom, which means the Valley of Hinnom. This valley, which lies immediately southwest of Jerusalem, was a place where dead animals, garbage, and other refuse were dumped. Fire burned constantly, as it does at modern sanitation dump sites. The Bible uses Gehenna, or the Valley of Hinnom, as a symbol of the fire that will destroy the lost at the end of time. The fire of Gehenna was not unending, otherwise it would be still burning today southwest of Jerusalem. And the good news is that neither will the fire of hell be unending. After all, Jesus intends to destroy sin, not to perpetuate it. Hell is also translated once from the Greek word tarturo, which means a place of darkness, as seen in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. As Gehenna was to the Jews, so Tartarus was to the Greek, as in the abode of the wicked, in other words, this is where the wicked would wait for their destruction in a grave. Hell is translated ten times from the word Hades, which means the abode of the dead. In other words, the grave. The word Hades appears on many ancient tombstones in Asia Minor of the grave of such and such a person. As you can see, it is important to note when the word hell in the Bible is referencing the grave and when it is referencing the destruction of the wicked. Jesus having the keys of hell and of death would have comforted John in that Jesus overcame the grave, hell or Hades, and was resurrected after experiencing death. Let this be a source of comfort for us, knowing that Jesus desires to impart eternal life to his people, and never again will we be separated by death once Jesus puts an end to sin. This marks the completion of our study of Revelation chapter 1. Next time we'll begin our study on the seven churches of Revelation and see why the letters to those churches are relevant to us today. Please share what you're learning on social media. Visit and like us on Facebook. Visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit and subscribe to the website at brandonseniorseminars.com for much more free downloadable study material. Thank you and God bless.